My name is Ken Armstrong. I'm the lead trainer at CameraCraft. And today I just want to take you over a couple of the different parts of a camera. And it might be surprising to some people that a lot of the parts of a camera haven't changed a lot, even from something like this, from an older film camera. This one might have come out in uh, probably the early 70s. And of course it has on the front a lens, which is where the, uh, the, the light comes in to take the picture. And then inside, there is a mirror in this camera and behind it is the shutter and that shutter will allow the light to come in and and actually expose uh, the film which would have been inside the camera now of course on the digital cameras the film has been replaced by a digital sensor but for the most part a lot of the parts of the camera are very much the same aperture and the shutter speed and then you're able to choose the, the film speed by uh, changing the ISO setting on the camera. Now if we move over to the, the digital camera over here, this is a digital mirrorless camera. So this one doesn't have the mirror like the other one did, but still it has a, a lens. And behind that lens, which we can take off here, is the sensor. And this replaces what, uh, what would have been the film on a film SLR camera. And one thing that all the digital cameras tend to have is a, a pop-up flash, which the, the film camera, that particular film camera, did not have. And then of course in the back we have the screen so we're actually able to see the picture right away instead of waiting, uh, you know, 24 hours for our, for our film. So that's just a quick overview of some of the parts of the camera. It's important to know so that when you are shopping for a camera, you can figure out, you know, if, if I need a camera that has a longer lens or uh, that needs a faster shutter if I'm taking uh, action or sports photos, it's good to know what those parts are and what they do. So for Shaw TV, I'm Ken Armstrong.